my Z Z A A is to show up is a T is to show up is a T. Hey fools, it's Mr. T, and I'm teed off. Well, not really. You could say that I'm adequately annoyed. But teed off just sounds like a better title. So yeah, I'm teed off fools. And this video is my last word on this Splatoon debate debacle, or whatever you want to call it. My stance on voice chat has been well documented on my channel. I talked about it in my Wii U Onions video. I talked about it in my If I Were Nintendo video. You can check those out right here and in various podcasts. But in short, I'll say it right here. Voice chat is a feature that I've never really cared about. Honestly, I have often found it distracting. Maybe it's because I'm a dinosaur and my gaming career has existed mostly before voice chat became the feature of the day. So I guess I just missed that bus. But even with all that, I'm down and I show support for those movements created for those who want it. I've supported them actively. I'm on the side of Splatoon having voice chat. But apparently, some Nintendo fans feel that if you're not balls deep enthusiastic about voice chat, that means you don't want it. That means you said you didn't want it. If only for the social aspect alone, I feel like the game should have it. But I'm not on the side of it's an utter travesty if this game doesn't have it. The game is of lesser value and the children of the developers should be murdered if this game doesn't have voice chat. I'm not on that side or on the side of being offended personally that this game doesn't have it. And I'm certainly not on the side of people who look down on others who don't believe all the things that they believe all the time and decree that they're trying to make Nintendo better for us. And, and, that, and those who don't pout when they do are part of the problem. That's the thing that pisses me off mostly about these arguments. These elitist ass stances where when you pout around with your nose up and act as if you're the better Nintendo fan. I'm trying to make Nintendo better. I'm trying to make Nintendo better. And anyone who doesn't agree with me at all times is a damage controlling drone. I can't stand the ego of those who want you to jump to their mindset and follow their movements and goals. But when Red Knight started the hashtag we have a voice movement, you fools were nowhere to be seen. You fools were quiet as a mother church mouse. Your egos won't allow you to listen to anyone else's point of view. No, 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 that's just damage control. You dismiss other people's opinions and views as damage control. No, I'm not on the side of that. I decree that any Nintendo fan who is impartial to a talking over your game feature is hereby declared a dirty turncoat. And the sole reason Nintendo doesn't get with the times. You're the enablers and part of the problem. And from our pedestals, we are trying to enlighten you, low sophistication, lame brain drones. Hashtag, we're better than you. If you truly want Nintendo fan unity, boy, are you going about it the wrong way. And I can't for the life of me understand how you can cry out one side of your neck that Nintendo doesn't listen to their fans, but then have the gall to take credit for upcoming game modes in Splatoon. <laughs> I mean, declaring out of the other side of your neck that Nintendo listened to you because you cried about the lack of game modes in Splatoon. What the f***? Whining about DLC before you even know it's free. Before you had the time to whine about the lack of game modes, Nintendo said specifically that Splatoon's launch was just the first step. Did your egos not allow you to stop and think that the game modes and the free DLC was their next step? No, that can't be. It was all you. That's the logical answer. Some of you dudes live in a world where well, not having a talking feature for your video games is the same as uh, the Microsoft DRM practices. I'm so tired of that argument. This is what they always say. People stood up when Microsoft tried that anti-consumer DRM crap. You Nintendo fans should also come together and uh, uh, make sure Nintendo doesn't get away with uh, not allowing you to talk in video games. <laughs> That's not nearly remotely the same thing. One thing was a system-wide policy forcing gamers to check in every 24 hours to make sure games that they played on their system was theirs and forcing consumers to have good internet connections, infrastructures in their areas be damned. Oh well, if you don't have a good internet connection, you can just play Xbox 360. And the other one is not having a feature allowing you to chat 
with others over certain video games. The false equivalencies in this community, I tell you. Hey, I say let's keep it going. Let's not stop with Splatoon. Boycott Xenoblade Chronicles X. As far as I know, that game doesn't have voice chat either. Is Zelda U getting online multiplayer? Boycott. It's 2015, and that game probably won't even have voice acting, yet alone voice chat. Boycott. Smash Brothers has lobby chat only? Boycott. Star Fox. Eh. Boycott. And there's a contingency of you foods who believe that if you, again, like I said, if you're not balls deep with anger about there being no voice chat in this game, that means you don't want voice chat. Gotta love those ultimatums. Show me the videos. I wanna see a video where somebody says, I don't want voice chat in Splatoon or any game. Just flat out said, we don't want voice chat in any game. We don't want voice chat in this game. We don't want it in the ga that game. Show me the video, cause I haven't seen them. I just think it's the ultimatum nature of, if you're not as angry as me about this, then that means you don't want it and you're the bad guy. That's surely gonna unite Nintendo gamers in this community. I'm sure that's gonna work, but forget that. You Nintendo elitists, please continue to piss down on us lowly, dirty Nintendrome peasants. We're eternal optimists, so we'll just call it rain. <laughs> you say you want to make Nintendo better, implying that we don't. So did you do your part in making sure Nintendo had competition on their console? Hmm, did you? When Wii U launched, did you go out and pick up this? Or this game? 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 Or maybe later on, you picked up this game. Or this game? Or this game? Maybe this game? Or this game? How about this game? Or this game? Or this game? Or were you one of the ones that said, well, this game doesn't have such and such DLC, or this game doesn't have these features, so I'm not buying it. That elitist stance. Did you do your part in making sure Nintendo had third-party competition to compete with them and make them better on their console? Did you? Or did you just buy this? So surely when this game released without its online component, and then when the online component did come out, it was buggy and broken as hell, you boycotted this game, right? Or declare that you're gonna boycott at least the next iteration, no? Or how about this game that also had a broken shoddy online and when the people who bought the game complained about it and asked for when there was gonna be a patch or an update to the game, the developers of the game basically told you to kick rocks. So surely you're gonna boycott Batman Arkham Knight. And before I go, I just wanna ask, uh, uh, did you go out and pick up this game for $60 day one and endured its embarrassing online experience that to this day still has issues? Surely you're gonna boycott Halo 5 when it drops. I'll await those videos and movements. A little consistency. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo fools. <laughs>